student. Yeah, you might become a scholar. Say, so I'll become a scholar. Now, because we're students and we're learning, and because here is for training, that's why we need to point out what we point out. It's not a regular meeting. It's to develop us and to make us do the right thing. Uh, my brother, let, before I correct what I want to correct, that's how I'm calling my brother. Yeah, my son. Uh -huh. You can sit down. We don't say, Jesus' name, we pray. We say, tell me, in Jesus' name, we pray. You know, sometimes you might hear in the, um, you know, messages that come to you. Because of the recording, you may not hear that word in, but it's there. It must be there. And so, uh, you know, prayer person today, every time Jesus' name, we pray. Uh -uh. Jesus said, whatsoever you ask, tell me in my name. That word in must be there. So let's correct that in all our district. Tell me now. Say it again. Say it like you know you are going to correct it in the district. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, there's another thing. This one I want to point out now. I'm surprised I hear this everywhere. Even people who normally they understand, they know. But when we come to church, it's like what we hear from this, we hear from this, we hear from that. We just repeat. They say, I want to inform us. It's not right. I want to inform. The person who is informing already knows the information. Am I right? I want to inform you. You cannot say, I want to inform us. Because now, when you use the word us, you put yourself as part of the people you are informing. Don't you have the information? Tell me now. Talk like students. Because, um, you know, as a teacher, I have to mark your paper. And the way I say this is wrong, you cannot frown because that's what your paper is reading. So, I always say it. I want to say that again. Tell me the one that is wrong. That one is sweet in your mouth. But tell me the right one now. You know, people don't want to say you. It's like, you know, maybe it's pride when I say you. But that's, that's the English is not a language. That's what we learned. That's the way it should be. And uh, from now on, we're going to correct that. And the correction will start tomorrow at the Sunday service. And if the person coming to the if he, you know, goes the other way and blows grammar before I preach, I will do some grammar correction before I preach. So help me tell whoever is going to say it tomorrow in our combined service and tell the people around you there now, I, wonderful, 100% class.